what we were trying to do with this project is recreate the sound world of the Lewis Priory. The Lewis Priory, as you may know, uh, is in ruins and uh, has been since the Reformation. Um, we have some records of what the world of the Lewis Priory was like. One of those is the Lewis Breviary, this amazing manuscript which gives all of the music that was sung liturgically throughout the year. The other, of course, are the archaeological remains. So we have the actual plan of what the Lewis Priory was like. And being a Cluniac institution, it was designed on a model that was repeated throughout Europe. So you have Cluniac monasteries that had similar architecture and similar liturgy uh, throughout the Middle Ages. Well, what we decided to do was work with the Lewis Priory Trust, and they came up with a fantastic suggestion of going to La Charité sur Loire, which is a Cluniac uh, priory, as close as you can get to the priory of uh, Lewis. So the benefit being that it's still standing. You've still got the building, and therefore you've still got the acoustic. And so we could take the music of the Lewis Breviary and sing it in La Charité sur Loire and get somewhere close to what the musical and liturgical life might have sounded like um, in the heyday of the Lewis Priory. So that was our goal. Pretty ambitious. So we were building on our work with the early music ensemble Resonet, who are based in Santiago. Um, we'd previously worked on the Codex Calixtinus, another manuscript source of fantastic early music, and the uh, musicological understanding that Fernando Reyes uh, of uh, Resonet brings uh, was the vital piece to, that, that allowed us to, to deliver this project because he could take the, the notes on the page and the words of the Lewis Breviaries, he could take that and say let's take those examples, let's take this source and let's make that music sing in, in the way that it might well have done in Lewis. And that means taking what's in a one line of chant and adding polyphonic lines to it in the style that we have examples of that really springs into life and has joyful dance elements to it. So that's um, what turns it into a completely different uh, experience uh, as a concert goer and what we've delivered with the Brent Community Choir and Resonet is another vital exciting interpretation of that chant music. One of the most exciting parts of the Lewis Breviary is a liturgy dedicated to St Thomas Becket. St Thomas Becket is a controversial saint. He's a challenge to the authority of the Kings of England and his liturgies were ripped out of any book that had uh, a record of what to sing uh, in the calendar of the saints' years. So this Lewis Breviary is amazing because it has this liturgy for St Thomas Becket. It's a little piece of treasure and we took this treasure and we amplified it by creating a drama incredibly skillfully done by Saskia Vesnik Wood, who is our uh, dramaturg, uh, amazing uh, skill that she has, she's a member of our choir, and um, led the audience through the story of Thomas Beckett. Also the music that was composed for it, not composed, arranged, inspired by the Lewis Breviary, by Fernando Ridges, is just beautiful and we must find ways of allowing this music to be heard more because it's, it was sublime to be introduced to something that literally no one has ever heard and to feel how beautiful it is and yet know that it was rooted in music that's been there for hundreds of years. We got back about two weeks ago from our trip to La Charité sur Loire and that has probably capped all the other amazing experiences. We've been working on music that was sung by the monks of the Lewis Priory and this is music that really has not been heard for nearly 500 years since the ending of the Priory. So it's again been an amazing journey for us to learn the music, to try and understand what they were singing, why they were singing, and to do it in a town where there was also a major Cluniac monastery, like the one in Lewis, uh, and, and where we could 
really feel the effect of the music in the same sort of space that the monks would have used because the church there is almost the same as the one that they would have had here in Lewis. I'm excited, scared, scared to be there, wrapped up. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit overwhelming and it's an amazing church. And... But a culmination of a week's, yeah. a hard week's work. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. And to sing things which haven't been, which have never been sung. It is just amazing. amazing. And then this, the, yeah. this particular church. Yeah, yeah. This music being brought to life after so many centuries. Yeah. It is amazing. Yeah. But yeah, nervous and excited kind yeah. of veer back and forth. <laughs> I've been in the choir now for five years or so. It's fantastic being amongst people who are really creative, dynamic and friendly. The performance was out of this world. It was really magic. I mean, you go through all the preparation and the rehearsals. You think you're prepared for the actual performance and then you're in it. And it was just, it was magical. It brings me up in goosebumps now just thinking about it. On that night, no king while we were away in La Chapite, well, I think at the end of the week, several people said nice things about what an experience it had been. And one of them had said, well, I'm very new to the choir, and I think it's been wonderful. This is the friendliest and most fun choir that I have ever known. And I would have to say exactly the same. We're a wonderful community. Everyone is very friendly. And we do all these wonderful, interesting, exciting things. Anyone can join the choir, you don't have to have any musical training or background, you don't have to have a trained voice. We will give you that training and yet you can aspire and actually achieve things which are groundbreaking, new, historically exciting.